What is up everyone? It is Rachel. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is super exciting because we are doing another mic'd up gym sesh. This week we are doing our max rep week, so basically seeing how heavy we can do one rep for, for the main lifts of bench, deadlift, and squat. If you haven't seen my other gym videos, my friend Agnes and I are working with Flynn Masters here on YouTube, and he has been personal training us, so we are currently on week 13 with him, which I think it's really, really wild how much I can lift considering I just started lifting weights in January. So let's get started with this max rep week. And today's bench. Yesterday we came here to do squats to film, but <laughs> the all the racks face the wall and only one faces a mirror. So then we left and then <laughs> we went to a different gym to do our squat PR day. Yeah, because I don't know, squatting without like looking at yourself, I feel like Mentally, it's so much more challenging. I don't know if other people feel like that too, but I feel like for me, I couldn't like I couldn't even do my warm up without a mirror. <laughs> so I felt like that day went well. Uh, squats, I don't know, low key scary, <laughs> but I thought it went fine. Yeah, we had some depth um, with some really good weight, and I'd say it was overall a success. And we did even more than we planned to. I'll put the warm ups that we're doing on the screen so we don't have to say it, but. Each time we do some warm ups before we get to the top set. And because it's only max, we do like six to eight and then four to six. And then the last few are just one rep each in order to get ourselves warmed up. I think the one and done's mentally, it is easier because you only have to do like one good rep compared to, okay, if you have to do six to eight reps or if it's a really heavy weight and you're trying to PR, I don't know, more mentally difficult or challenging compared to let's just hit one rep right now and you either do it or you don't. Uh, nice. I feel like I like these a lot more than reverse pyramid training or five by five because I feel like this one's like more mentally easy because then once you get to the top, you're just like, oh, only one rep. And I feel like most people have at least one rep in them um rather than like using a lot of your energy to go for that second or third or fourth rep definitely for bench i guess mentally what i'm thinking about is definitely being explosive um making sure the bar path is good um yeah pretty chill day so agnes's second warm-up set here like she mentioned we're at the climbing gym this gym membership, it's like $100 a month. <laughs> sort of expensive, but you get the all the climbing areas and then here in the back, the weight room areas. I don't know. Maybe I feel a little bit sore today because I did come here last night and do some climbing. But I won't say that out loud. That'll make my mental bad. <laughs> Having two gym memberships is, I say, an investment. But I guess each serves its own purpose. For example, the climbing gym is a lot of a lot more of our friends go there. Um, you can climb as well as lift weights. However, the weight room doesn't have all the weights that we would like. For example, the besides having squat racks, it only has leg press, um, and that's about all the leg machines that they have. So yeah, that's why two gym memberships might be a better idea for your gains. Yeah, we can't leave our other gym now. All of our friends will miss us, so we gotta go to both. And I also like know like the staff too, so I feel like I was like, you have to go to them to say that you're canceling your membership. Oh. <laughs> it's like the pressure of like, you're, like sorry, I found a different gym. It's like breaking up with someone. <laughs> oh, so sad. <laughs> third warm-up set here. We are rocking it. Whenever for this week we get through the whole workout so quick because it's just the max PR, no real other exercises that we're doing. So we're going to get through this really fast compared to 
normal days, we're here for like two hours. Even though we do have two gym memberships, I don't think you need two gym memberships to be able to lift weights and all that. It's just more, I guess, what you prioritize slash like how much you're willing to spend. That being said, like I used to just have one gym membership. I was perfectly fine with that. I more got this to hang out with friends and to have like a social hour and also to climb, which, uh, yeah. But I haven't climbed in a while, so whoops. <laughs> but I still come here, so I guess it's still money's worth. We're into the one rep category, so this is going to go really, really quick. But Flynn was saying we should probably rest like three to five minutes in between each of these. So we got to have things to talk about, yo. I realized that the colors of the pound plates is the same, basically. Well, because like 25 is usually green, 45 is usually blue. Our other gym member gym has 35, but they're just like the typical black. Same with the 10s and the 15. I was like, for the most part, I feel like I've always seen 25 pounds or even like 15 kilograms. Like when I've watched people on Instagram and all that, it's all the same colors. Who standardized these colors? <laughs> what do they mean? <laughs> Okay, we always forget to start our Apple Watches, so we just started it three minutes ago, but we've already been here for like 20 minutes, so I won't even close the ring probably by coming today. I feel like that's happened on our PR days because like it's such a quick workout and there's nothing else planned after it. I feel like normally when we go, even if we don't start it like 10, 15 minutes in, we still have like an hour or like an hour and 15 left in our workout, so it doesn't really matter. So we still end up closing our rings. I like the Apple Watch though. I think it's really useful. It's cool to see all the stats and everything. And it tells you to stand each hour if you're not standing and you get these like awards for achievements. <laughs> Good motivator, except for the days that we're like resting. And then for the climbing, I don't wear the Apple Watch either because I don't want it to get scraped on the wall. So then I'm like, oh, I'm doing these exercises, but I'm not wearing it. So then I won't close my rings. Agnes, 100 pounds, goal for the end of the year, 135. That's one plate. So one of those blue ones down here is 135. That's 345. So the bar is 45, and then each of those blue plates are 45. So I guess what, 135 is like, okay, that especially for a girl, is something good to work towards and really, really impressive. Yeah, sometimes after the gym, we like to give ourselves little treats. And I feel like they're actually pretty semi-healthy treats. We usually end up going to Dunkin' and get a nice coffee to get us through the work day. I guess today we might do smoothies since there's a smoothie shop that's pretty close to here. Um, but yeah, solid rep by Rachel. Here's our top set. Flynn says, if you can do it well, we can keep going up by 2.5 to see how much we can actually bench here. Hmm, look at that, so smooth. Pretty good, pretty good. Mm. <laughs> So we're done with bench day. I guess pretty successful. Tomorrow we've got deadlift day. I don't know, uh, scary. <laughs> yeah, I think deadlift is probably the hardest, I feel like for me at least, especially in terms of form um, and just lifting, but I think it'll be a good day. Now I'm like, okay, the one and dones, maybe they're mentally hard because it's so much pressure on the one rep. Thank you all so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have other videos you want to see, other gym videos, let us know in the comments below, and we will see you all next time.